Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. My thing is all a mess here today. Um, today I'm working on these little baskets I picked up at Dollar Tree. I wanted to do one for Easter, and you can do these for like any time. So I'm doing another one that'll be good for, you know, like any time of the year. Um, you could use these for a little Easter basket. You could use these to hold little things like in your bathroom. And this one I started here, and I think these are just so pretty. So, I'm going to show you how I finished up this one. This one I actually made with some fabric from Dollar Tree, and this is a fat quarter, so it is, make sure I get the inches right here, 20 inches by 21 inches. So this is just a little bit too short to do this, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to do this where you don't have to do any sewing with a sewing machine, just some hot glue, and it's going to be really, really simple to make. Now, if you have a sewing machine, even better then you could sew these pieces together to make them long enough to go around here because you're going to need a piece of fabric that is 23 inches long by 14 inches wide um, to make a nice thing because you want to fold this fabric in half so it looks pretty from the outside and the inside and I'm going to be using some of this fabric. This I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, they have this stuff on sale all the time. It's pretty inexpensive but that is what I'm going to be using for my Eastery one. So I already got that one cut out, and I'm just going to show you guys. Hang on one second here. All right, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I'm going to move this one out. I'll show you how I did this one um, in a second. It's pretty much, they're all going to be made the same. So you're going to take your 23-inch by 14-inch piece of fabric, and then you're just going to fold that in half like this, and then you're going to want to iron a nice crease down the center of it. And that's all you really need is an iron and hot glue gun. You're good to go with this project. And then after you do that, I fold the um, edge that we just made a crease in, fold that over half an inch. I didn't measure, I just kind of guesstimated it all. And then you're going to iron that down so you have a nice um, line here. And this is what's going to fold over the front of the basket. And now for the inside on the bottom of the basket, we're going to make a little uh, disc here. I just used some of this foam board that I had left over. This stuff's a mess. Um, I've used it for all kinds of things. And you're just going to take your little basket and then just trace around the bottom of it. Um, that's pretty much all you've got to do here. Just give yourself a, a little bit of a guide, like so. And then when you cut it out, you're going to want to cut in so you're cutting off that line because, you know, it's going to be a little bit bigger when you do it this way. So you're just going to cut that out like this. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty because this is going to get covered up with fabric. just use a big piece of cardboard if you don't have this. I can get this in the way be easier to cut. Now you could just use cardboard or whatever you happen to have because like I said this is going to be hidden underneath. Um, it's just going to finish off the bottom of the basket nice. Alright, so then you're going to end up with something like that. You just want to make sure it's going to fit down in there nice and that worked out really good. So then what you're going to do is take another piece of your fabric, that's my piece for the inside, and um, I already cut one out, but I'll show you how I did it. I just took a piece of this fabric here, I have a ton of this fabric, I love this stuff. And you're just going to lay your little piece that you just cut out after you make sure it fits in the bottom, and then you can just draw a circle around it, you want to do that on the other side of this obviously, but then you're going to cut it out like a half an inch bigger than this piece. So then you're going to end up with a piece that's kind of like this. Real simple. So, I mean, you're just going to want to lay it down. You gotta even have to trace it if you don't want to. Just make sure you have enough that you're going to fold over. So now you're definitely going to need some of these little finger protectors because this glue goes right through the fabric. So then you're going to take your fabric, flip it over, and then you're just going to glue it onto this thing. And I like to start on the sides. And I'm just going to flip it up like so. Stretch it over nice. And we got that side. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. 
real quick, real easy. A nice line of glue down there. Get started here. There we go. And then just push your fabric into the glue. Just kind of pulling it nice and tight so this will be nice and flat on the other side. All right, and then when I get up here, I just kind of bunch this one up. Push it down in the glue, and then you're going to glue down your little crazy ends here. Just like that. Not until it. See what I mean? You're definitely going to want a finger protector because it goes right through the fabric. There we go. And that will be the inside of our basket on the bottom. And you're not going to see this because there's going to be fabric on the bottom of this basket. So now all you need to do is figure out where you want the front of your basket. The other one had a seam in it. This one's like seamless. I don't know how they did this one. But anyway, just start putting your fabric in. Just set this in so this is facing out. And then you are just going to... Now if you want, you can fold this over to make a nice finished looking edge. But you're going to have to open that up and fold it over, um, or under rather, this way, towards you. That makes more sense to have a nice finished edge. So we're going to do that here just so um, I don't usually worry about this too much because I just use these little baskets here and there. But um, if you want a nice finished edge, that's what you're going to have to do. Or you can sew it down, like I said, if you have a sewing machine. Most people I know do not have a sewing machine, so that's why I figured I would show this using just hot glue. Alright, so I'll get that glue down there. So then when you, you know, get to the other end, you'll have a nice finished edge like that. And now this edge will fold back down. Alright, so we're going to start putting this in here. Just pick where you want to start. I usually start like where I think it's going to be the back. Fold it down to, you know, your little... Oh, I need my other finger protector. Where'd you go? You kind of need two of them for this. And then squeeze that through to the other side of the fabric. And you don't have to do it all the way around. You can just do it here and there. I like to bunch this in here. It's just easier. Um, just take that little lip that you sew, or that you ironed. So that'll look nice. And just, you know, every here and there, just kind of attach it. Just make sure you got it pulled straight. Easy peasy. I love easy peasy projects, so you guys know that. So you're just going to fit that on there, where you have your crease. Add a little bit of glue here and there. And then you can see how this is going to start. I think that's going to be really cute for an Easter basket. i got to watch my glue usage here. <laughs> And that's it. You just keep going all the way around with this until you get to the other end. Just push that down where you have your crease ironed again. And just start to glue it here and there. I do it like every, I don't know, probably two inches or so. Just to hold it on there. And then if you want to change these up, you can. To get these off, all you need to do is take a hair dryer or something to loosen up that glue. You can pop this fabric out, put in something different if you want to. Um, that's the great thing with using hot glue. If you heat it back up, you can take things off. So just trying to straighten that out in here a little bit. Okay, where's my crease? There we go. glue in here, squeeze it down, okay, and I think that's going to look really, really pretty. So I'm just going to finish that up here in a minute. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this end and fold this over too, so when we get here, then your inside will look like it's nice and finished. 
All right, so I'll finish gluing that one in a second here, and then I'll show you how we do the bottoms. Now for this one, this fabric is from Dollar Tree. Sometimes they have some really, really nice fabric. But like I said, it's just a little bit too short, so I ended up with this piece here. So I just took another piece of the fabric. Same thing in here. I just covered this up like that. Stuck it down in there like so. But for this back piece, I just took another piece of the fabric that I had left over and folded it over and ironed it down just so it's... Well, I need to take my bottom back up. Just so it's going to cover up that piece. So that is just going to go over top of there. And I'll have nice finished edges on the inside. And that is that. So let me finish getting this one on here. Because this one is almost done. I really love this. I bought a couple of these um, packs of this buffalo check. I just think it's really pretty. So once again, this one I'm actually going to add a little extra glue because we're piecing it together. But that's that. Now that is all finished all the way around. Now this one I think I'm going to use in my downstairs bathroom. Because um, I think this will just look really cute down there on my little um, counter. I have just a small sink down there with a counter on it. And then I'll just put that back in there like so. And then our little basket's finished. And on this one, I just made myself a jute bow. And I took some of these little sunflowers from Dollar Tree that I picked up last year. You can use whatever you want to on here. You could put, you know, just a, a button or, you know, whatever little decoration you want to put on it. And then I figure if you want to just put this, like, on your toilet tank or something, you could just stick a, a nice toilet paper in there. And that would look very fancy. But... I absolutely love these little baskets. Like I said, you could use them for anything. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish gluing this one, and then I'll show you how I'm going to do this one up for Easter. Alright, I have that all hooked on there now. I just glued it down there. And then you're just going to want to go in and try to straighten this out as best you can so there's not too many giant creases on the inside. Now when you take your little insert here, you can either glue this in. I don't. I just kind of place them down in here because then it just looks like that and that's how it looks all nice and finished on the inside. So now I'm going to add a little bow to this one. I took some of this ribbon here. You can find really pretty um, ribbon at Dollar Tree right now. I'm going to use this little glass cutting board I got from Dollar Tree to glue my little cheater bows together here. So for these, I don't remember how long I made these. It depends on what you want on the front. You could put a big bow, you could just put a decoration. These I cut two pieces nine inches long, and then I get my little finger protector ready. Um, I just fold them in half, make a little crease, and then glue the two sides in. And this is the start of my little cheater bow here. And then I just glue that one right on top of there. These just make my life easier. This way I know my little bow is going to be, you know, just going exactly the right way I want it to. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other piece. Just fold it in half, make a little crease that you can see. And then just glue your ends down. To get your ends glued down, you just could pick this thing up here and figure out exactly how you want it. Um, I think that looks cute, just like a, not like an X, but you know, just kind of closer together like that. And I think that'll be perfect on there. And then we're going to add a Easter, um, Easter egg, no we're not, a carrot. I decided on this because I thought it would look better with this uh, fabric. Or you could put an Easter egg or whatever you want to, a little bunny if you have it. But there, that is going to be my bow. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue that right on there. So I'm going to put this right in the center, hopefully. Just right here up on the top. A little Easter bow. I think that looks good right there. And then I took one of the little wooden eggs. You get these in the packs. with a 14 of them at Dollar Tree. I love these. This is a great deal on this kind of stuff from Dollar Tree for crafting because you guys know if you shop for anything like this in other any of the other, you know, hobby stores or craft stores, 
you're going to pay like five or six bucks for something like that. So anyway, I got a packet of carrots, and I took one here to save a little time. I painted it already. I just took some of this. This I got at um, Michael's. It's burnt orange chalky paint. And then this is just um, apple barrel paint, lime green acrylic, uh, or limeade actually it's called. And I just painted the bottom of the carrot with the orange and the leaves with that pretty green. And then I could take this thing off my finger. I'm just going to take a little Sharpie and add some, some detail to this. Now for the top of the carrot, I'm just going to make some lines here in the leaves, like so. And then just go down the carrot on one side and make some straight lines. And then kind of go down the other side. Not too big. And then in the center, you're going to go in between and make a few little lines to make your little carrot. And then that is going to get glued, I think, just like that. And you can paint both sides of this if you want to. But And that is that for this one. And there you go. So that's that. This one's finished. I'm just going to leave that in there. I'm not going to go crazy with it. Like I said, it would look much nicer if you have a sewing machine and you can sew some fabric together. But I made them both exactly the same way. And like I said, you can use these for a million different things. So I'll set these up here. I'm going to throw some of these Easter eggs and things in this one. And I don't know what I'm going to put in this one yet, but I think I'm going to put this one downstairs in my bathroom because I really like this. And I can leave this out all year long. And like I said, decorate it however ever you like. So I will clean up this mess here and fill these up with a few little goodies and take a picture to put at the end of this video. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this simple little video, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.